How's it going guys? Butcher the Block here and today will not be a picking video, today is a package video. So, um, got a pick set, a late birthday present um, and got it from Pick Pals. So, one thing I'll say straight up is um, I've got most everything from these guys um, and I ordered this Monday morning and it came today just after lunch. So, yeah, brilliant. The only thing that isn't so great about this site is they don't have much Peterson gear. So they, they've got a couple on um, like by single picks, but there's like 25 bucks for a for a, a you know a short hook or a gem or whatnot. But I got me the Monstrum kit. So let's get this one open. So, oh, cool looking case got there. So the other sets I've got. So first good set, the Wiz Wazzle, um, and then I had it in my little. Um, had most most of all the hooks in the um, you know walking around case, and I uh, lost it, so I had to get a second Wiz Wazzle set, which I have done a review of. Um, ah, well, this is my my devs because this is empty because I lost. <coughs> excuse me, lost uh, half of them. And it's got me devs fifteen and twenty five, and then the uh, only warlock tools I got got the um. DeForest Diamond 3 set, again from Pick Pals. And then the other ones I've got are Southord, because these are really, really good price. It's like the, I don't know, the 60 piece set. You got the ones with the, um, the reinforced handles, and then not, so you got it, pretty much got a double, which. If you break picks, well, I used to break picks a lot, and so that, that came in handy. And so the only piece and picks I have are these um, city rakes, which I really like. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the only bad thing about um, buying picks down here is uh, not really much of a range on Peterson. All right, so let's just get everything out. So just the normal, I think they call it the Sherman case. And I think this is the, the normal little starter set. Really finished quite nicely at the, um, I think they call this the steep hook or postal hook, offset, um, offset hybrid. Uh, Euro hook, and then the um, bogey and the uh, kinetic. I think they call it the double peak or something. Dexter, damn it! All right, well, let me just lay everything out. I'll be back. Okay, so I got them out. All right, so first off, one thing that um, Sparrows does really well with their sets is always always give you heaps of tensioners so with the uh whiz wuzzle set you get all, all the these tensioners you don't get the flat five but they give you three of each three different thicknesses so you got just straight with a bend and then you got double ender always have the three different thicknesses they do seem to have uh, chipped me one. I don't have the uh, small of that one. That's not right. Um, then they got the long straights. And they have the Wiz Wazzle um, tensioners. So I did point this out when I did my um, Wiz Wazzle set review. But, so, 
these aren't um, these aren't like flexi ones. These are, um, are made bent this way specifically so you can make a little top of the keyway tension out of it. So you just got a little you cut your depth how much you like and then you um, put a bend in it to what's uh, whatever's comfortable to you. So oh that's right it won't fit in that one because that's a uh, oh that's a restricted core. Where is it? Standard core when you need one. Well it's picked. Oh come on. Alright. So let's go in there. And you got a nice little top of the carry tensioner. Yeah. So obviously um Wizwazzle um came up with these. He has done a couple of videos. Uh, I think they're still up on his channel. Um how to make these. But yeah. Alright, let's just enough tension to talk. Oh no. Not enough tension to talk. Not yeah. So you get the flat five ranging from twenty five thousandths to forty thousandths. One thing that they never put in any of their sets, which I guess I'm just asking a bit too much now, is the um the heavy bars. So they do give you, you know, these guys, which are I'm guessing for um uh temple temple locks. Or I just uh just fold down my own little um teeth and whatnot on mine. But yeah, nice knurled little grippy bits. Alright, now the picks. So these are the standard um Sparrow's picks. Got not too um rake heavy, which I really like. So they got the, the best buster, their little worm rake. Um the worm which this um if I if I use a rake, which I really do, it's either a uh, a city rake or this worm. I find it works well. The bogey and the um I think they well I think they call it a triple peak and then a double peak, but this one's a kinetic attack um pick and a city rake. Which yeah, not about city rake, works pretty well. Alright. Then they've got um half diamond of course, and then the uh offset diamond, which I think they call the offset hybrid. Um, I think this, I, I forget the names to some of them, the standard hook or, or it's just a standard hook, then they got the uh, Euro hook, which this is my favourite go to, um, my favourite 25,000th pick, other than the Attila obviously. Um, I think this one, this one normally, yeah, has a little nubbin. Um, ground into it. Let me just get my um, other set to show you the nubbin. I think this is um, designed for wafer locks. Eh, the nubbin's not that much more pronounced there. I think it's designed for wafer locks. I may remember wrongly, but it may be good for like medicos and such. And then the, um, I think they call this one the postal hook. Alright. Then the uh, Monstrum picks. So, one that I am familiar with and rather like already is the Attila. I bought this as a single um, pick. Really, like you can give this guy some abuse, it's really, really nice. And then they've got these two uh, here. So, this one is the full glide, and this one's a half glide. This one's interesting looking, 
that might that might be useful. Strange, I like it. All right, then they've got the um, low HD and then the high HD, which is sort of very similar to the um, offset hybrid. The um, DeForest Diamond. Similar. Different. Um, yep. Okay, then they've got the two deep, deep ones. So the uh, Matador and the Lunasec. So they got some really nice reach on them. And... Uh, the Tron, I I got a Tron in my Dark Shift kit, which I really like, but I snap him. It snaps right in the um, little, um, it, they've got little, oh, that one's got, uh -huh. anyway. oh, that's my arm. Uh, you can talk to it. They, they normally snap right there, which you know it's meant to be for your um little finger placement, but they tend to snap there anyway. All right, um, I forget what this one's called, um, uh, maybe half dent and full dent, or half dent and full dent, not too sure. But yeah, that is the kit. Now I've made a mess of uh, black pips on my uh, black mirror. Looks cool. So yeah, that's my new set. I do quite like the handles. Uh, maybe just because I'm used to them. Sort of like waxy. Yeah, lovely. Okay, well, guys, I hope... Uh, you guys enjoyed that? Oh, sorry, one more thing whilst I'm here. All right, so, anyone have any idea where I can get either DPS sliders or, or even just a, um, like a, a pin chart? Because I'm, I'm trying to key up some DPS keys and it would just be a, a bit easier with a pinning chart. Or if I could, you know, buy some sliders. So I don't have to uh, file these down and, uh, you know, salvage one working lock out of possibly three. Okay. Then that is it for today. Yes. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh, any questions, comments, put them down below. Um, yeah. Um, any big panels, great company. So I know they're really quick in Australia, and I have seen um, Bosnian Bill get a few things from um, from them, and he says they get to America really quick, so they must just um, uh, sort their order straight away. So yeah, that is all for tonight, guys. Stay safe, stay well, stay sane. Huru.